Hi, my name is Philip Thomas and I've worked in the precast, pre-stressed concrete industry as an engineer in various roles for 16 years. I am currently our corporate engineering trainer here at Wells and love educating others about anything and everything precast. I highly recommend that you visit our website as it has valuable tools like our design handbook that you can use alongside this video. You will find recommended detailing for precasts and other information that will guide you early on in your project. Today's subject for the design guide is the bread and butter of precast manufacturers across the country, double T's. I'm going to share some helpful information that will help you capture the basics for the design and selection of these members for your structure and cover the following items. Double T efficiency and pre-stressing basics. Preliminary selection of double T's for your structure. Design of double T's for external loads and manufacturing considerations. First and foremost, double T's are a great example of the material efficiency of precast concrete. For starters, the geometry of standard 24 inch deep double T sections allow for spans up to about 60 feet while requiring the same amount of concrete and reinforcing that you would see in a 4 inch thick solid flat slab. The big difference is the 4 inch thick slab can span up to 10 feet while the double T spans about 60 feet. The double T is pre-manufactured in a production facility where pre-stressing tendons are pre-tensioned and then released into the member to counteract the stresses created in the member under load. Given that the forms in these facilities utilize steel rails and intensive quality control, we can create an environment that ensures a high quality product. While this video will focus on double T's as floor members, they are very versatile and can function in a variety of other ways such as wall panels or bridge sections, just to name a few. As an architect or engineer of record, it is crucial to understand the resources that exist to help you pre-select double T's for your structure. The latest edition of the PCI manual provides span tables to help you choose which member is appropriate for your building given its loading and required span length. There are a variety of depths manufacturers can provide you to choose from. The actual geometry of the final members will vary slightly from what you see in the span tables, but this is insignificant for the overall selection process. In general, double T support any combination of floor loads. These members have a minimum release strength of 3500 PSI and a final strength of about 5000 PSI. The major design components are the selection of flexural reinforcement consisting of pre-stressing strands and shear reinforcement at the end of the member. Shear reinforcement typically consists of wire mesh or rebar stirrups. The deck itself is also reinforced with mesh or transverse rebar. The double T's can be produced with a top deck that is prepared with a roughened surface to receive a post pour topping or pre-top such that no additional topping is required and it's all poured at once. The end bearing generally requires the use of an internal bearing plate or DAP reinforcement when a notch is required at the bearing location. As noted earlier, double T's are typically manufactured in steel forms that can be anywhere from 100 to 600 feet in length. They can be produced in a variety of depths and widths that vary widely among manufacturers. Lifting devices are cast into the members so that they can be stripped from their forms and handled easily until they are placed into their final positions within the structure. Transportation constraints such as weight and overall length should be considered early on in the project timeline to avoid any issues later. Overall, double T's are a great quality product to consider when compared to other members and other types of construction. Don't be shy about reaching out to Wells or your local precast manufacturer to find out if precast is the right solution for your project.